Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome back to Football Manager 2023. On our epic quest across Europe where we're aiming to win the top flight division in each of the European nations. We're in nation number 16 at the minute which is Croatia as the manager of Varshadin. Currently in the second tier in Croatia which as we discussed in the last episode is a decision that we made just to get ourselves into the nation really and start building up some reputation in Croatia. We are starting to learn the languages as well here in Croatia. Uh, there's actually four of them. There's Croatian, Bosnian, Montenegrin and Serbian. Uh, things have started off quite well at Varjadin. We still haven't made any you know, stellar signings that would help the first team out. We're concentrating on youth for the future and we have signed quite a few of them as well. Uh, if we have a quick look at them, uh, there's, there's loads of players here who've got loads of potential, which is what we've aimed for. The, the most recent one in was Noah Nasons, who is a Belgian, 17-year-old uh, Belgian. He's got absolutely bags of potential. He's got some really good attributes for an advanced forward as well. Uh, and as a result, he actually finds himself in the first team straight away. Came in for absolutely nothing. Free transfer. He's, he's a, a player who we found in Belgium on a, an amateur contract, so that's why he's cost us nothing. He's on £350 a week, which is probably more than I would like to pay for him, but I've got him in the door. And he's also got 150 to 325,000 pound value, which is another reason why we're signing these players. They've got big sell-on potential, particularly at a young age. They can also, because they're so young, they can they can gain homegrown status as well, which is uh, which is obviously fantastic at the club and at in the nation. So we're looking forward to that. I don't know why they're not completing the the eligibility for the nation. It's not counting up. He's been here for quite some time now, so that's for whatever reason, is not working. But in terms of finances, that's actually left us still in a good position. Still £600,000 in the bank. A £1.3 million transfer budget, which we're going to try not to spend. We're going to try and do it this season without spending any money. In terms of jobs becoming available in the division above, nobody's insecure yet, anything like that. Uh, so nothing on that particular front yet. Our Orient are insecure, but I think they're currently down at the bottom of the table, but that's in the second tier. Obviously, the ones that we're keeping an eye on, we're never going to get into Dinamo uh, or or possibly Hadjuk, but maybe somebody like Gorica could be a potential one that we get into. The manager's not having the best of seasons there. Uh, obviously, if we have a look at the first league uh, and where Gorica are predicted to finish, it's in fifth place. But they are newly promoted, so they're actually not doing too badly, uh, to, to be fair to the manager there. As for how we've done... Uh, obviously, we started off with that 4-2 win over Orient, which was great. We then actually lost our next game, and it was to Jaron. Now, Jaron have had a really good start to the season. They did score the only goal of the game in the 64th minute. We didn't really offer too much. I th the, the players are still getting used to me and my my mentality, my tactics, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of players playing out of position as well while they, while they learn the tactic. So, unfortunately, we did lose there, but we did bounce back with a win, a 2-0 win uh, over Croatia... Zimi Javci, I want to say. <laughs> Apologies if I've, I've got it wrong. Uh, does Derevic get, again getting on the score sheet, which is really good. Mukic as well on the score sheet. Now, he is a, a centre-half who have promoted up from the youth team, obviously to fill that quote of under-21 players that I've got having the, the starting 11. A very, very good centre-half. He's another one with great jump and reach and an OK heading, another six foot five. So two centre-halves there. Are both over six foot five, but uh, Dizderovic getting on the score sheet again, good win for us. We followed that up with a five one win over uh, Bielo Bordo. Again, apologies, guys, if I've got that wrong, but we absolutely battered them. We battered them so much. Five goals probably could have been more. We had 13 shots on target, so their goalkeepers actually had a reasonable game despite conceding five goals. But it was Jozanovic with two, Dizderovic again on the score sheet. Dulai and Agic on the score sheet there as well. So good performance there. Unfortunately, we did drop points in the next game though and it was against Dubrava. A 2-0 up and cruising in this one. Vuk and Dizderovic again on the score sheet before Simic and Medvan uh, obviously got the equalising goals for Dubrava. In what was probably a closer game than it should have been and I'm disappointed to have dropped the points. We did put four past the next opponents though and that was... Chib Sibalia, Sibalia, Mehic with a hat trick uh, and Dulai on the score sheet. Another good performance. We've restricted their left hand side of the pitch quite a lot, really. And Dulai on this right hand side 
along with no Nova Selic, who obviously occupies this space up here when he gets forward, uh, has, has took advantage of that. But again, we lost, and it was to, to Vukovar, 1991. A disappointing performance. They scored the winner in the 90th minute. Uh, we didn't offer too much going forward. It was quite poor. Our strikers have actually had a, a poor game. But we have bounced back again with a with a win, and it's over Kust, Kustoysia. Kustoysia. We'll go with Kustoysia. Sounds sounds okay. Sounds Croatian. Uh, another okay performance, and and we but we did leave it very very late. It was Jozanovic, and then an own goal uh, from Malman for Kustoysia in that game. Boxic put in a player of the match performance on the left hand side for his their own player Guardiol. I wonder if he's any relation to to. Guardiola, who's kicking about in real life at the minute. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, a couple of poor performances again. Nasons and Alicic, who we have now managed to get into that first team. It's after September, so he's ticked over now. Uh, he started off okay. He's still a young man, though, so still lots of room to improve. We then won in the Cup, convincingly 4-1. Uh, a 2-0 win over Orient again. So again, we've beaten Orient. We've got, of course, we play each team four times in this nation. But Mukic and Alicic with the goals, a, a dominant, dominant performance by the lads. Drop points again, though, to uh, HR Jagavlo, Jagav, Jagavolyak. Jagavolyak. Uh, did drop points in nil-nil. Disappointing not to score. We did have a player sent off. It was quite early on, uh, I believe. 51 minutes, so still with just under just under half the game remaining. We also picked up an injury to Dulai in this one. So nil nil was quite disappointing, really. Uh, but we have then beat Uran, who, like I said, have had a fantastic start to the season. We've just thumped them six one. Agic with two, Mehic with two, Nasons and Jagalix with the other one. So where that leaves us in the league table, uh, despite obviously thumping Jurun, is we're currently in second place, level on points with Jurun. And you may notice that our goal difference is much much better than Jurun's as well. So you you're going to be asking why are we in second place? Uh, well, the answer is that uh, it's based on results against teams, but they beat us 1-0 early in the season, and then we've beat them 6-1. So you'd think that we'd be ahead. But no, it's a uh, little star here. Teams' records against other teams on the same points will be sorted by the rules in the following order. Away goals scored. So because we conceded that goal in that 6-1 win over Jaron, that keeps them on top of the table ahead of us, unfortunately. But we're going to do a couple of games today. We're going to do Croatia... I wish I'd picked teams that I could say their name. Jim Jim Jabshi, Jim, yeah, NK for Croatia. Jim Jabshi. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. I, I struggle with these names. So we're going to take them on. We're going to take on Dubrava as well. I can say that one, and we'll see how uh, how we get on. It's it's been a bit more difficult than I imagined it would have been, considering we're heavy favourites for the league. But this is the lineup that we're hopefully going to go for today. Yes, I've got 321 players in the squad, which is great. Uh, Jim Jarovic has actually spent a lot of time injured this season. He's been out for about a month and a half now. But he's still got five goals in the league, which is uh, which is fantastic. He's halfway to that target that we've set him. And if we have a look at the league, I think he's actually... He was a couple of games ago up here in the top scorers. He's, he's equal third in the top scorers in the league uh, as a centre-half. Uh, which is fantastic. So the lineup today, we're starting to figure out a settled lineup here now. It's going to be Dominic in goal, still really unhappy, asking to leave, still making mistakes, but it, it is what it is. Uh, it's going to be Koprich as the right back for today. Uh, played eight games for us so far this season. He actually seems to be no, he's reacted badly to a collective win bonus apparently, uh, and he's waiting for a team to make a bid. So we've promised him that he can leave as well. Krinchek or, or Vinko as we call him another one who's unhappy but he's done okay for us a 6.93 just Darevich we've already discussed Katalinak starts at the left back position today now he's alternating with Boxic but he's another one who's requested to leave <laughs> it's the story of the team and we have got a lot of unhappy players here because the club got relegated last season which is not our fault but the, the, the way that football manager works is it's our fault <laughs> so uh, Vuk is the Defensive midfielder on defend today. He can play in that position very well. 31-year-old Croatian. Mukic, the one who has been playing as a centre-back for us, can actually play in the defensive midfield position as well. Maybe not quite so good as a Segundo Volante, but he can. he's capable there, is the 18-year-old. Vrucina as the other 
uh, Segundo Volante. He's one who can play there, has got the attributes to play there, uh, uh, other than a couple of key things, really. But it, it's more of a this is what we've got kind of thing. Mehic, our signing in the summer, continues up top five goals and six appearances for him. He's done quite well. We've then got Nysons or Nasons, uh, one of the young Belgians that we brought in. One goal in four starts is not the greatest, but he is a very young man. I just I hope he can fill this potential, which would be great. And then it's going to be Jozanovic today as the other striker. Three goals in six appearances in the league. So let's get into the game. I hope we can pick up a win to to continue at the top of the table, really. It would be nice to get ahead of Jaron, who have had a, a great start to the season. Let's not uh, beat about the bush here. They, they have done really well, but we are starting to close the gap on them a little bit now we were a little bit further behind them in terms of points and it is a Kreuzer Zimzavci on the attack straight away it's a it's a free kick floated into that back post it thankfully it's gone over the bar but this is a game that we should really be winning guys as you can see there they are in ninth place in the table uh, with just the 10 points from 12 games and a minus 17 goal difference so we should we should thump them really whether we will or not is a different matter uh, it, it is them applying all the pressure straight away. And Mukic is... Uh... <laughs> what was that, man? Uh, he's got himself sent off. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, we're not going to change anything. He was one of the Segundo Volantes. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but that's that's not what we needed, is it? Uh, Katalinek trying to get us going forward. But it's cut out by the Croatia Zimzavi player. Uh, they've given the ball straight back to us, though. No, Dominic, right, he's actually gathered that one up quite comfortably. Feeds the ball out to Katalinek. Striding forward towards the halfway line. Feeds it inside to Vrachina. Vrachina with the ball over the top towards Mer Mehic, who's in. Mehic has actually scored that. Wow, what a finish by Andre Mehic. Uh, a nice little dance as well, mate. That's a great finish, though, from the striker. I wasn't expecting that when the ball got lofted over the top. I'll be honest with you. I, it was a good ball. I thought the ball was going here. Uh, but this is a great finish. Great finish. And the goalkeeper has just fallen over. I don't know what he's doing down there. But with 10 men, we've taken the lead. And now we've picked up an injury. Awesome. <laughs> Catalina has found himself injured. So we're going to get Pasco uh, Boxic on on the left-hand side. And at the half-time break, it's, uh, it's a fairly even game. But we are a man down. Uh, but we are the team in front, which is obviously helping us there's uh there's not really too many adjustments that we can make here at half time uh, i'm obviously i'm, I'm going to have a lot i'm going to have a quick look at the opposition uh, and this is the kind of thing that i've been doing recently guys is i've been having a look at the match rating this central defender is not playing particularly well so I, i'll you know i'll go and trigger the press on him put him under a bit more pressure the the midfielder is 6.1 we'll go and trigger the press on him as well uh, what does our assistant say Never trigger a press on him, okay? Uh, but yeah, I sort of look out for the, the match ratings that they're not playing too well. And I'll go and put them under pressure and make them play a little bit worse. It, it Usually with fullbacks, it helps. If you, you know if, if one of them's on a poor rating, I'll focus the play down the side that he's on and try and get some success that way. Obviously, it's difficult a man down, though, and away from home. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how things go. But Jaron are actually losing as well to Orient 1919. So we are moving clear at the top of the table now. Still Kroos, Jim Javshi come forward looking to get back into the game. That's easy for Vinko though. And he rolls the ball out to Koprich inside to Vuk. What's Vuk got ahead of him? He comes back out wide to the right to Koprich. He needs to find Mehic down the line. Does find Mehic. There's two in the box waiting for the ball in. Pulls it back instead to Koprich who does get the ball in. And it's, it's a poor cross and it's safely into the hands of Soldo in goal there. Uh, and with about 20 minutes remaining, we... We're sort of holding on to this lead here. They've, they've gone long with that kick. They've won it in the air as well. And they're coming forward now with Galesic, who has a good effort. It's a good effort. But Dominic actually makes a save, which is surprising. Chance for us, though. Vrucina with this uh, free kick on the edge of the area. Is he going to find the top corner? Let's hope so, because we're under massive pressure. Uh, he's gone for the opposite corner I would have gone. He's forced a great save out of the goalkeeper. Now, this is uh, Dizdarovic's chance. Corner from... Vrucina. Can Dizdarovic get on the end of it uh, and take his tally to the season for six? It's towards him. He can't get there, though. It's headed clear by Guzman. Uh, and this is the counter-attack now by Kroos Zimzavci. 
they've fed the ball forward to Rodgic, who's played a poor pass. That's easy for Boxic to come forward with. And can we turn this into our own attack? Boxic taking the ball a long way. Is he going to get the ball into the box? He does. It's uh, There's nobody really attacking that ball in, though. And it comes to nothing in the end. Only a couple of minutes left to hold on, though, guys. Because we are holding on. Let's be honest, we are holding on. Kopsic wins that. No, Rodzic brings it forward. Looks like we've committed. We're going to get another player sent off here. <laughs> we are going to get another player sent off. Uh, this time it is... Uh, Avinko, Avinko, I keep forgetting what his name is. So I think we're going to have to drop a defender back in. I can't really play with three defenders. We're going to get massively overrun here in the midfield, though, which which is unfortunate. But uh, no, I want to put him there. Thank you. We're going to get massively overrun in midfield. I'm debating whether or not to actually bring a striker off. In fact, I think I will. Let's bring Nasons off. Let's get a... Yeah, Jagalix will do. And we'll drop him back to where Vuk is. In fact, we'll put Vuk back into the midfield. I've messed around with this too much, haven't I? There we go. We'll have a bit more bit more presence going backwards uh, in, into stoppage time. Luckily, there's only two minutes, but we're still going to get a highlight. It's Vuk with the ball. Don't lose the ball. Don't do anything stupid. And he's lost the ball. And now this gives Jim Javshi the chance to come forward with Rodzic. It's a good ball forward towards Bumnik, uh, Bumnic. Good tackle by Dizdarovic, though. He's dived in again. <laughs> Is there a third one? No, he's not. He's managed to get the cross in. Oh, Dominic comes out and claims that ball quite nicely for us there. And clears it long. We're going to just wait for the whistle now from the referee. Uh, Vuk wins the ball back. No, he doesn't. It's nodded forward again, but Dizdarovic wins that now. Vrachina. Jozanovic just needs to waste a little bit of time here. Finds Boxic instead. And there we go, guys. There is the full time whistle. Thankfully, thankfully, as you can see, look there, Jim Javshi were, were all over us. So, just confirmation after that, guys, that we have now moved three points clear at the top of the league. Zeroen did lose their game. We've got far superior goal difference. And we're, we're now reaching the point where the, the players are used to, to the way that we're playing. And we're pretty much at the point where the league is possibly a foregone conclusion. But we'll still play the next game. Against, it is against Dubravka, who are now themselves in the relegation zone. Uh, so we'll, I'm going to click forward the, the seven days to the next game. And I'll catch up with you guys again in just a minute. Right, guys, we've made it to the game against Dubravka. And this is the lineup that we're going to go with for today. Obviously, we've got some suspensions and some injuries uh, after that last game. With two players getting sent off, which wasn't very helpful. Uh, it's going to be Dominic continuing goal, Milanovic. As the right back for today, six starts. Another one who was not particularly happy with us uh, coming into the season. Jagalix is going to replace uh, the central defender who got sent off, who's Vinko. That's right, a name I forget. <laughs> but Jagalix is going to take that position. Three starts to this season. He's had a very good season, 7.5. Uh, could potentially become the starting uh, centre half. Dzderovic continues as the other side. And Polyak, who is uh, going to make his first start as a 17 year old. Under-19 player, he's going to start as the left-back today. He's got some quite good attributes for us, and he helps fill one of those under-21 slots that we do have to fill. Uh, Vuk, Lee, and Nova Select as the three midfielders. It's then going to be Mehic, Ad, uh, Adjic, and Jozanovic as the three up top. And first highlight of the game goes to Dubrava, and it's a ball at forward, which Dominic comes out and claims... Uh, quite comfortably, he is starting to pick up his form a little bit, Dominic. He's not making so many mistakes. But it's Polyak, the young 17-year-old, now with the long ball forward towards Josnoviak. Uh, the keel core keeps come out there and done really, really well to get uh, to anticipate that ball over the top. But Budan, now the ball, they feed the ball forward with Vidovic. Uh, but it's easy for Jagalix to cut out. And now Mehic, the scorer from the last game of the only goal of the game, brings the ball down the right-hand side. He's got two in the box to aim for. Cuts back instead. Uh, and loses the ball. Hodak now for Dubrava. But again, they've gone long. Tisterovic is always going to win that in the air. It's Nova Select with the ball back towards Mehic. And it's almost an identical finish to the last game. So close. So close from Mehic. Uh, and they still come thick and fast. These highlights now starting to come at the, uh, the start of this game. It's another one. Almost identical to the last highlight, the way it started. Uh, Dominic throws out to Dizderovic. It's got Polyak outside of him. Polyak with the ball forward. It's a poor one. Vidovic cuts it out quite easy. And now Budan feeding Fuchak. Budan again. 
back to Vidovic who goes long and again it's it's, it's identical to the last time Dizderovic wins the ball in the air that finds Lee Dizderovic again striding forward finds Nova Selec uh, he's going to lose the ball here to Kolai uh, but a little bit of uh, miscommunication there Mehic picks it back up again feeds the ball forward towards Ajic uh, and that's a, a great goal by Blendy is it a Jitch or a, or a Gitch? I think we'll probably go with a Gitch. Uh, good goal there, though, for, for the uh, for the player. I don't know what Asanovic was doing. But it's a great ball forward by Mehic. Turns provider in this game. And that's a tidy little finish. Just dinks it over the goalkeeper to give us the 1-0 the lead. And it, a Gitch with the free kick from the edge of the area. He's hit the top of the crossbar. Can we get the rebound in? Uh, no, we can't. They've, they've managed to get the ball clear. Benkovic with the ball for Dubrava now. He goes long. Dizderovic should win this in the air. No, he doesn't need to because it's nowhere near him. Uh, Polyak does find the, the aforementioned Dizderovic who goes long over the top towards a, a Gitch again. The goalkeeper's come out again and Vuk gets his second goal of the season. Uh, the goalkeeper maybe watching Manuel Neuer a bit too much, isn't he? <laughs> He's been watching, been watching old videos of Manuel Neuer uh, and... Uh, he got away with it the first time he did this. He, that's just a poor clearance, though, straight to Vuk. And that's the second time I've seen this happen this season in Croatia. We, we've scored two like that, I believe it or not. The, the goalkeepers, like I say, they're obviously watching a lot of Manuel Neuer. Uh, so Dubrava find themselves 2-0 down before half-time now. They're looking to get back into the game with Hodak now with the ball. He's just he's, he's stopped uh, and he feeds the ball out to the left, but that's easy for Milnovic to cut out. And now Jagalix into Mehic, looking to turn provider again. It's headed back to the goalkeeper, though. Uh, Benkovic, what can he pick out this time? Is he going to pick out another blue shirt? Uh, and he's he's gone long. It's, a, it's actually a really good ball for Medvan, who has... Tariq Medvan has got one back for Dubrava. It's a great clearance by the goalkeeper. Makes up for his mistake for the second goal. Uh, and we've conceded, unfortunately, which is a little bit disappointing. This is a, this is a great, great ball. Route one stuff. I don't know what uh, Jagalix is doing. He's just sort of letting run past him. Uh, not the best of defences. But we're looking to, to restore our two-goal lead almost straight away. It's Agic finding a Vuk to Milnovic on the right-hand side. He's got Mehic ahead of him. Maybe offside there from Mehic. The linesman's kept his flag down, though. And it's Vuk with the effort. It's gone harmlessly over the bar. Corner though, this is Dizderovic's chance. It's going to be taken by Agic towards that near post. Nova Selec actually gets there and he's hit the crossbar, but he gets his own rebound off the crossbar. Nova Selec restores the two goal lead for Varjadin. Uh, Varajdin, even. I keep saying Varjadin. Uh, Varajdin. Uh, he's managed to get his own rebound. It's, uh, it's a good header, hit the post, and he's the first one to react uh, and restores the lead. Well, this has been a quick, very quiet second half, guys. We're, we've come back with just over 10 minutes remaining. It's another highlight for Dubrava. Thankfully, the head has gone over the bar. Just just to point out that Yaron are, in fact, losing again. So that the gap for us at the top of the table is extending even further. That would make it three in a row that they're going to lose. As Nysens gets on to the end of this long pass forward, unfortunately, he can't uh, keep the ball underneath his spell. Uh, and Dubrava are able to get back and clear it. But Jagalix wins the header. That ball falls at the feet of the Dubrava men, though, and they're still coming forward. Mehic goes diving in. Good tackle, though. Uh, now Nason's bringing the ball into the penalty area. Surely that's a foul. Come on, ref. It is indeed a, pe a pen. Uh, and Agic is going to be the man to take the penalty to make it 4-1, hopefully, with 10 minutes remaining. Steps up. Uh, the keeper's made a great save. The goalkeeper's... Do you know what? He looked a bit shaky start to start with, but he's picked up an assist and now he's saved the penalty. So he's he's having a really good game uh, on the flip side of it. But Agic going to try and pick out uh, Dizderovic at that near post. And he does pick out Dizderovic, but it's a, it's a poor header by the big man at the back there. And we, we're getting a lot of highlights. Last 10 minutes of the game, guys, considering uh, we had nothing in the second half until 10 minutes to go. Uh, Marinovic, though, who's come on at right back. We've moved uh, Milinovic into the defensive midfield position. Lay was having a poor game. Uh, but Dominic finds Dizderovic. Ball forward to Nova Selec. Scorer of the third goal. Needs a runner ahead of him. He goes left to Polyak instead. Polyak looking for the ball into the box. It's a good one. Mehic has took too many touches and he's managed to put it wide of the post. Why did he not go for the first time effort on his head? Do you remember when players used to do diving headers? You don't see that anymore in football, do you? 
and at full time a nice comfortable 3-1 win we we definitely deserve to win that uh, they're disappointed that their one shot on target has gone into the back of the net but good performance Nova Select picking up the man of the match there as well and there we go guys confirmation that Yurun did lose again they lost at home to Croatia Zimjavci of course the team who we beat with 10 men uh, we've now extended our lead at the top to six points after a fantastic 3-1 win there over Dubrava uh, so we, we're now a third of the way through our first season here in Croatia guys I am still looking for, for first division sides to manage I don't want to be stuck at Varajdin forever but we're, we're doing quite well and the club itself is doing quite well as well so guys thank you very much for being here as always feedback is most welcome let me know how you think things are going uh, and remember to hit that like button and if you're new around here as well hit the subscribe button as well uh, thank you very much guys and i'll see you all next time cheers